As any parent knows, caring for a newborn comes with all kinds of challenges and conflicting information. But increasingly, advice from the newborn nurseries is consistent. Breastfeed your baby. But what if that's not possible? As Stephanie Lydon tells us, there's help, and it may arrive on two wheels. They're coming. Meet Baby Bear. Are you ready? Yeah. Full name, Baronin. But we know that when he gets older, everybody's just going to call him Bear. His nickname's predictable. His arrival was not. Where are you going? Bear was born seven weeks early. And he couldn't feed because he was so small? His nutrition, supplied through a tube, was breast milk. Not from his mom. Her milk hadn't come in yet, so it came from other moms. I just thought that he needs this to survive and because I can't provide for him what he needs. So we're going with it. <laughs> Donated breast milk is nothing new. More than a century ago, the country's first donor milk center was on board Boston's floating hospital. These days, breast milk supplied to homes and hospitals across New England and as far away as Georgia comes from a lab in Newton at the Mother's Milk Bank. The milk is pasteurized. Donors undergo health screenings. And amid growing evidence of its protective qualities, demand is high. We get calls from you know parents who are just getting home from the hospital and just don't have enough. The mom's not does not have a full supply. Babies are hungry often. Now the milk may get there sooner, thanks to these bikers who will deliver it for free. This was right up our alley. And, you know, we have women in our club that have breastfed and donated milk. This is an all-women's motorcycle club. Often they're actually new parents. Dedicated to helping other women and children. So that goes into the pasteurizer. And especially after seeing the milk bank in action, members of the Moving Violations are motivated to hit the road. I was amazed at the need and that you could save a baby's life. I mean, that's what really got to me. Babies like Bernin, who arrive long before their due date, may benefit most. There's evidence breast milk protects preemies in their earliest days from potentially fatal infection. Yes, I know. The muffin, man. Like many moms whose babies benefited from the milk bank, Amy Chenault is now donating back and is glad to know milk will get where it's needed fast. Being home and not having a supply or anything, and then having to use it, I can't even. So that's an amazing service. Stephanie Lydon, WGBH News. Most members of the moving violations work full time, so they'll be doing deliveries as schedules allow. The milk bank will still use paid courier and delivery services as well.